so where we are now is I wanted to send my sister a message. I need to be careful because anything can happen at this point. Um, I'm hopeful that I will still survive. I have a strong belief in the Divine Creator. I have a strong belief that I'm being protected. But anything can happen and I want to send my sister this message. I want to update her, like I've said, on what, we, what has gone on. But I want to send my sister a couple of personal things. So Kelly, one thing I wanted to say to you is there was a lot of change. There was a, a period in our past when I, it was my responsibility. I chose to leave and not have any contact with you. I want to let you know that during that period of time, I did think about you a lot. And I thought about your daughters, Amanda and Sarah, quite a bit. And I want you to know that it wasn't that I left and never considered what I had done or the consequences or the effects on you or that time was going to be gone that we could never be retrieved. I was embarrassed at some point. I felt too much time had gone on and I didn't know how to come back to you. I, I thought you would forgive me, but I feared the unknown. And time kept going by, which then just added more to the impetus or uh, the, the weight of so many, so many years have gone. I want to apologize to you for that. I, um, there was a lot that went on in our past. Uh, our family, there was family violence with my father. He was a Toronto police officer. There was family violence for about 10 years. And so people know. And it affects the way people interact, and brothers and sisters. And unfortunately, it affected me. It probably affected my sister in a different way. But after my mother died, I just needed to escape. I just need. I just didn't want any reminders of the past and the fact that my mom had gone. And I handled it the way that I could could only handle it at the time, which was I needed a sabbatical. I needed to get away. This isn't the most ideal time to talk about this on camera. It's a private thing, but I'm worried that I might never see my sister again. So I want to let her know that I did think about her a lot, and I'm very regretful. I made the decision at the time, and we make, th we make decisions based on information available at the time, and I wish I'd make different decisions, but everything happens, I believe, according to a divine plan and I want Kelly to know that I'm sorry if, Kelly I want you to know I'm sorry that I hurt you I am truly sorry because I know that you probably were hurt a lot and you probably missed me and felt felt that you were getting the short end of the stick and you were so I apologize the second thing I wanted to let you know is on July 26, 2013, when God came to me and promised me that I would be protected and I would have whatever I need to survive each day during Where Is My Canada, Mom appeared first. Uh, it was a very short period of time. She looked exactly the same. She had the same twinkle in her eye, the smile that she always had. And she said, hello, David. And then she disappeared and God appeared. I want to let Kelly know that there was a lot of challenge in our in our in our youth, and you know when parents argue and when there's trouble, one one child might think one parent favors one child more than the other, and vice versa. I want to let Kelly know that uh, Kelly, I want you to know that I felt mom's love for you, and I felt, of course, mom's love for me, and it was the same. She didn't love me more than you or you in a different way or look at you mom's love for both of us was exactly the same and it was enormous and it was immense and it was deep and I felt that with her and whenever she talked about you whenever she was getting ready for Christmas any family events she put as much thought and concern and love when she approached anything with you as she did with me, I could feel it from her. I, I, I just sensed it. it, it wasn't different at all. She never talked about you in a way that was less than fully complete, unconditional love. I want you to know that. Um, 
if we don't see each other again, I want you to know that for the rest of your life, that mom's love for both of us was gigantic and it was never ending. There was no difference. It might have appeared because I was younger and you, you moved out of the house earlier because of your age, you were older, but I want you to know that mom loved us both equally. Uh, as far as I could see, there was no difference. Um, the other thing is, I want you to know uh, that I love you. Um, I never said that to you very much. I think I did when we got reunited briefly before we got separated again by the Peel Police and Toronto Police. But I want to let you know this time period that I've been, that we've been separated is this second time. I've thought about you a lot. And many times I cry for Canada because what I see in this country is not at all what I wanted and it was not at all the beautiful Canada that we grew up in. I cry a lot for this country and I cry a lot for you. I miss you and I feel a sense of hurt that if something happens to me and we don't get to see each other again that you would have been hurt by my separation although it's forced on me, that you would be hurt a second time and you would have your only brother taken away from you. I think about that a lot. And I want you to know that I love you. I always have. I might not have expressed it the way that it would be the most easy to understand, but I want you to know that I desperately want to see you again. And what I want for my life Hopefully when this is over, I want to live an average Canadian life again, and I want you to be a big part of it. I really want us to have time together because a lot has been lost. And that's what makes me angry about this three year period is some cops, some dirty cops lied and separated us. And they had no right doing that. If we separated, it was only because you and I as adults together decided the terms of our relationship. Not because some dirty, filthy Peel cops and some dirty, filthy Toronto cops decided that they needed to hide their crimes and so they separated us to do that. That's completely wrong. I want, I believe that I will survive this. I believe that God is protecting me and I hope so. I think there are a lot of powerful people out there that are, are behind me and will try to keep me safe and alive. And I want them to bring us together as soon as they can. I need to get out of here fast, Kelly. I can't survive in this place much longer. There are people that are clearly out to murder me and I need to get out. I want you to know those three things. Uh, that's the purpose of this message. I wanted to update you on what had happened, but I wanted you to know those three things that why I wasn't in contact with you and what I felt about that, the fact that mom loved us both equally, and the fact that I love you too. And I want to see, I hope that we can be together again in the future as brother and sister. Um, I am in Toronto, I am homeless, I am living downtown in a stairwell, like I said. If you can do something to help me, please do. I don't know who you need to contact. I believe you're with the army now. Um, I have found no support from the government of Canada at all. I found some support sprinkling here and there, some signs, but Canada more or less has let me down tremendously. I feel like this country has abandoned me. So far, nothing substantive has come forward. I have suffered tremendously and I'm disappointed. I would like, I desperately need as much support and love as I can get. If there's anything you can do, if you get to see this video, if there's anything you can do to help me, I'd be greatly, greatly happy to receive it. Um, I need to end this because I want to keep these short. Um, a lot of what we talked about, or I talk now with you, it's unusual to talk about this publicly, but I need to take the chance that we might not see each other again. So I want to say I love you. Um, please, I love Amanda and Sarah and Rick. I hope everyone is healthy and happy and I hope to see you soon. Okay, take care, love always, Dave.